In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the new Excel pictures or images option called Place in Cell. Let's get started. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet. It's got some office or school items listed here, and then I have a nice icon for each of those. And this is working just fine, but it is a little annoying having these icons floating on top of the cells rather than just being inside the cells. For one thing, I had to resize them, I had to move them, put them in the right place, and they are not really accessible through formulas or links or other things like that. They are just images that float on top. So how could I put something similar to this inside a cell? Let's start by clicking on the cell where we want the image to appear. And I'll just go to the Insert tab in the Illustrations group. I'm going to go to Pictures. And this is a new feature in 2024 that now you have to specify whether you want the picture to be placed in the cell or over the cells. I'm going to choose Place in Cell. And then I can choose from these four options as the source of this picture that I'm going to add into my spreadsheet. I could select a picture that's on this computer and upload it from its hard drive. I could choose a mobile device. These two are the options I most often go to. So I'll go to stock images in this case and I'll search for pencil and I get all sorts of great images. And I'm just gonna browse down and select this image here. I'll click insert and that image is being added directly into the cell itself. Now, what are the advantages of this? For one, notice what happens if I resize the column or the row that that image is in. If I resize it, the image automatically resizes as well. If I shrink the column, same thing. If I make the column much bigger and the row much bigger, then the image grows to its full size. I'm going to undo those changes by holding Control and tapping Z a few times. With the image in the cell, I can also click on the image and go to the Home tab, and then I can center the image very easily in the cell, both horizontally and vertically if I'd like to. And let's look at a couple other advantages to having an image inserted in the cell rather than over the cells. If I go to the autofill handle by clicking on the cell somewhere and then going to the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell, I can click and drag to copy the contents of the cell down the spreadsheet. I can double click to automatically copy it all the way down to the bottom of my data. So that's a nice feature. I'm going to undo those changes because these aren't pencils, so I don't need those images down here. But there's one other really cool thing that you can do with pictures when they're in a cell, like in this case. But first, give me a minute to fill in the rest of these images, and then I'll resume the video. Okay, I've finished inserting the pictures into each of these cells. Now, just so you know, I got some of these from stock images, and I got others from online pictures. Those are both really good sources. Some people have access to both. Some people only have access to one, depending on the version of Excel that you have. Now that I have these images in here, I want to point out one of the nice things you can do because the images are in the cells instead of floating on the cells or over the cells. One of the nice things is you can refer to these images in formulas. So for example, over here, I can say H2 is equal to C2. Tap enter, and the picture appears there because I've said this cell is equal to that cell, so therefore the picture appears. Here in cell I2, I can show you another way you can use this in a formula. I could type equals if, left parenthesis, and then I'll click on units. So if the pencil units are greater than zero, comma, then I want C2 to appear in this cell. I should put in my right parenthesis, tap enter, and there is the pencil. Now what if the units of pencils drop to zero? I tap enter, and it says no, that's false, there are no pencils. And I could also go in and change this, so instead of saying false, I can put in a comma at the end after the C2, and I could put in quotes either just a blank space, or I could put in out of stock in quotes, right parenthesis, tap enter, and now it tells me when I'm out of stock of the pencils, and yet if I have just one, it shows the image of the pencil. So there's some exciting things you can do with formulas and images when the images are in the cell. All right, now as you watch this video, you may have noticed that we also now have options to insert pictures over cells. Now that was the default before, but you can certainly still choose that and go down here to online pictures, and you know I can search for a notebook and choose a notebook and it will just float 
over the cells, not in any one cell. I can resize it and put it where I want it to be. Now, there are times when you might want to switch the way an image is inserted into Excel. So for example, this image here, maybe I want to switch it from in the cell to over the cell. How could I do that? There are a couple of different ways, but one would be to right click on the image and go up here to picture in cell. So it currently is in the cell, but I could just choose place over cells and now it's much bigger and I have to deal with resizing it and putting it exactly where I want it to be. But having said that, there are times when this is exactly what you want. I'm gonna undo that by holding control and tapping Z a few times. Now what about going the other direction? I'm gonna click on this image and shrink it down quite a bit. And I'm gonna right click on it and then click place in cell. And now it's put in to this nearby cell. There it is. If I wish it was in a different cell, I could go to the very edge of that cell, any of the edges, and click and hold the click and then drag it where I want it to be. And now it is an in-cell image. So in this video, I've shown you the new insert pictures or images in cell by placing it in the cell. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way to do that is to become a channel member. But of course, you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or you could buy channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you so much to my super techie and ultra techie channel supporters. Here is the current list as of this recording of my super techie and ultra techie channel supporters. Thank you so, so much for all you do to support the channel.